Hey guys, here we will learn about Big Indian and Little Indian systems. But before that, let me share a story. So a long time back, I had moved into a new project with a new processor. I was going through the legacy code base and I found a bug in the code. At least that's what I thought. So in the team meeting, I raised the issue with my seniors. They listened to me carefully and gave me straightforward reply. They said, it's a little Indian machine. And I was like, oh, is it? <laughs> so it's very important to know which type of machine you are working on. And you can find that out yourself with a few lines of code. All right, first let's look into what's a big Indian system and what's a little Indian system. Let's take multi-byte data type example, unsigned integer, which assuming is of four bytes, we will take an example number, which in hexadecimal is 0x, 04, 03, 06, 09. Assuming this variable is stored starting from memory address 50, so we have address 50, 51, 52, 53 of 1 byte each. We will write this down twice. So 50, 51, 52, 53. All right. In big Indian system, the most significant byte in the number will be stored in the lowest memory address. So the address 50 will store the number 04 and 51 will have 03 and 06 is here and 09 is here in address 53. So we are storing the leftmost byte in the lowest address and the rightmost the least significant byte in the highest memory address. This is similar to how we humans write as well. Alright, in little Indian system, the things are exact reverse. The most significant byte will be stored in the highest memory address. So 04 will be stored in the address 53 and 03 will be here in 52. 06 is here and 09 will be stored in the lowest memory address 50. So here the most significant the leftmost byte is stored in the highest memory address. This is kind of the reverse to how we humans write. Okay now let's take a simpler example. We will take unsigned integer a equal to 1 which in hexadecimal is 0x 00 1. Now when we defined this variable, how would this number be stored if our system was big Indian? Assuming the starting address is 50 followed by 51, 52, 53, then address 50 will have the value 0. 51 will have 0 2, 52 again 0, um, address 53 will hold the rightmost byte in the number 0, 1, right? So this is for big Indian systems. What about little Indian systems? Again, if the starting address is 50, followed by 51, 52, 53, then the address 50 will hold the least significant byte in the number, that is the rightmost byte, that is 0, 1 and the other three addresses will have zeros in it. So when we store the number 1 in a 4-byte integer variable, then depending on whether your system is big Indian or little Indian, either the lowest address or the highest address will hold the value 1 and the others would be 0. Now we can use this to check whether our system is big Indian or little Indian. In case of big Indian systems, we can see that the starting address 50 will have value 0. But in case of little Indian system, we see that the starting address 50 will have the value 1. So if we could find the starting address of the variable and then check the single byte stored in that memory address, then depending on if the value is 1 or 0, we can deduce whether our system is big Indian or little Indian. Great, now how do we do this? To find the starting memory address, which in our example was 50 for the variable a, we will declare a pointer variable p and in p we will store the address of the variable a. 
Now A is an unsigned integer type which is of 4 byte in size. To check the content of only a single byte starting from the address P, we need to use a data type which is of 1 byte in size. In C language, we can use the character data type. Therefore, our pointer will be character data type pointer. So we store the address of the variable A by casting it to a character type pointer B. Alright, now it is straightforward. We will check the content of the address B. If content of the address B is 0, then our system is big endian. So we print big endian. And if content of the address B is 1, then our system is little endian and we print little endian. Wonderful! This is how we could find out whether our system is big Indian or little Indian. There are more ways to find and please do share your suggested method in the comment section for your preferred language. In the next two episodes, we will solve some big Indian, little Indian problems. Do subscribe to this channel and if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. See you!